Well, as many of you may know or may not know, circulation plays a huge role in how well your body can handle heat. The better your circulation, most likely, the better your heat tolerance. Now, individuals who may have compromised circulation due to what's called poor vascular function, this could be an issue. So a little bit of heat per se, let's say is something which a younger person may handle just fine. An older person, for example, with poor vascular function may not handle the heat anywhere near as well, therefore leaving them vulnerable to tons of cardiovascular events, events heart attacks, strokes, so on and so forth. So Pennsylvania researchers wanted to look at some way that they can possibly offset this, improve the heat tolerance in individuals with compromised vascular function, or in their case, the elderly. Let's get right into the research, because it's kind of interesting. Uh, especially when you recognize possible functions of folic acid, which a lot of us may not even be aware of, especially when it comes to nitric oxide. All right, here we go. In the research title, Folic Acid May Help Elderly Weather Heat Waves. Citation title, Folic Acid Supplementation Improves Microvascular Function and Age Humans Through Nitric Oxide Dependent Mechanisms. Published this clinical science, I believe it's March this 2015. I'm going to redo this kind of fast, so I'm going to quote the research because the researchers really said it best. And here we go. All right. We know that when older adults are exposed to heat, their bodies are not able to increase skin blood flow to the same extent that younger subjects do. And as a consequence, older adults are at a greater risk for cardiovascular events such as heart attacks, strokes, or environmental heat waves, as we discussed. Researchers know this due to the aged blood vessels, in part due to aged blood vessels, that cannot produce enough nitric oxide. When young, healthy people are exposed to heat, their bodies increase blood flow to the skin, and this increased flow combined with sweating helps cool the body. Now here's where nitric oxide comes in and the relationship between folic acid. Folic acid plays a role in producing an enzyme which helps increase nitric oxide, henceforth improving vascular function, more than just other reasons like folic acid and homocysteine and so on and so forth. This is actually kind of cool. Let's read on. Nitric oxide is the molecule produced by the body, or I should say body, blood vessels. Body's the same thing, kind of. Using an enzyme that requires tetrahydrobioterin, otherwise they call B4, tetrahydrobioterin. All right. As, as the bioavailability begins, the bioavailability begins to decrease as individuals get older. Henceforth, the folic acid comes in to help raise that enzyme. In the past, studies conducted in our lab that we showed that we can increase nitric oxide production and that consequently reflex skin blood flow in older adults by giving them an expensive pharmaceutical. That's why they wanted to use the folic acid because it's so much cheaper than the drugs that do it. Probably a lot safer on top of that. So in this study, we want to test that again, but with an inexpensive treatment that might work the same way. So what they did is this. They gave folic acid, standard folic acid, nothing fancy, not a biologically active form or anything like that, just the standard folic acid that's available on shelves. They gave five milligrams for six weeks. And of course, there was placebo group because this was a double blind crossover placebo study. So meaning the researchers didn't know who was getting what until they tabulated the results after the study was done. They found out that the individuals that were getting five milligrams of folic acid for six weeks, elderly, didn't work in the young the same way. Basically were able to withstand or tolerate the heat far more effectively. And the researchers said, quote, the bottom line is that folic acid supplementation increased nitric oxide production in older blood vessels. Henceforth suggesting that during hot times and there's a risk of uh, uh, greater cardiovascular events such as a heart attack, stroke, or whatever it is, that folic acid of five milligrams per day, if you need this, as much as the researchers indicate, uh, can save an untold number of lives, not in regards to just plain suffering itself or reduction in suffering. So, and on top of that, the researchers wanted to see if those which have high folic acid levels in their diet, due to the supplementation of food, due to a longer period of time, let's say the extent of their lives, have better blood vessel function overall. So keep in mind, if you're if you find yourself or basically relatives not handling the heat as well, and there may be some compromised blood function, so to say, talk to a medical professional or at least make sure they're getting adequate folic acid levels in their diet, because that folic acid may help with enzymes that produce better nitric oxide, resulting in better blood flow to the skin and henceforth handling the heat better. Again, I really hope this helps. This is Ralph Trick Channel, signing off once again. Thank you.